Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're all well. Um, so today, um, as you probably guessed by the title, um, I'm going to be doing a My Friend Compete to pick my 21st birthday outfit. If I was allowed out and if we wasn't in lockdown, however, that's not the point. So the winner or whatever outfit I like the most, I'll rate them all. They've told me what colour shoes um, needs to go with all the outfits. And whichever one I like best, I would wear if if we're allowed out by then. We'll see. I mean, it just depends what Boris says, doesn't it? So, I thought I would light a cute candle just so we have a nice aroma going throughout the video. Even though it doesn't want to light. Bloody hell. Just say no to me next time, why don't you? How cute! So, I will get straight on with it. So, I have three parcels in front of me and three different pairs of shoes, which tells me, because all the shoes are different colours as well, that the outfits are nothing alike which is quite weird because I sort of thought that everyone would probably choose like a black outfit I don't know right so first I'm gonna start with my friend Casey's um, I'll attach a picture of me and her she wants me to pair this outfit with nude heels so I have these from Dorothy Perkins that I already have so Casey chose me something from Fenelux um, I didn't really give them a budget, I just basically gave them my, my like details and said charge it to me. So, I haven't looked at any of these outfits yet, I've literally just opened this. They are all fully sealed and trust me, it's been difficult to not look at any of them. So, I'm scared I'm going to squish my cat. Um, right, so this one is... Oh shit. <laughs> um, I think I have this dress already. I think it's in my wardrobe. Oh damn. <laughs> well, that's good because at least I know that I like the outfit. Um, though I do think that the shoes that I've put with them wouldn't match because they're not the same shade of nude. Um, but this is the nude square neck brushed bodycon mini dress in the colour Gina from Femilux. It looks like so. It looks a bit dodgy when it's not actually been worn. But trust me, this is a really nice dress. Like a really, really nice dress. Um, I can't believe I've already got it. <laughs> that is just so typical. But I'll show you the colour of the dress compared to the shoes. Oh no, they probably won't look too bad to be honest. They look these look quite pink to the eye, but on the camera they don't look that bad. Um but at least we know that I like this dress. This dress is um about mid thigh high length, um long sleeve, which I absolutely love, and that the chest is a square neck. I don't know what it is this year, or that's all of a sudden like come over me, but square necks right now, wow I love. Um so I do feel like it's quite a casual um, dress-ish. Like, I don't know, it's not like a really dressy dress. So if I was wanting to go for like quite a chilled, but still go for drinks, 21st birthday, then this would be a very, very good outfit. I can't believe I've got it. <laughs> oh my God. Right, so next, um, Next I'll go for Cody's and I'll attach a picture of us together. Um, Cody's parcel is quite big, it's also from Femilux. Um, Cody's is quite big because she said that hers, she asked if because hers was that cheap, um, could she give me like a lounge outfit too? So I was like, do you know what, go ahead. So I'll show you that as well today. So Cody's um, dress 21st outfit. She wants me to pair this with some black perspex heels, which I luckily had already. These are just from ASOS and they're ASOS's ASOS brand. 
So they will go with. Oh shit. Oh no, I've sealed, sealed it back up. Got it, never mind. So Cody has chosen me the white slinky balloon sleeve Bardo mini dress in the colour Megan. It's it's um it looks white on camera but it's actually like a cream. Do you know what? That's really nice. That's actually really nice. It goes straight down, so it looks like it's bodycon. It doesn't look like it would be. Um, it looks like it'd be quite figure hugging and not like baggy. I love the sleeves that they're a little bit puffy and that the shoulders have like that ruched detail at the top, as well as the sleeves at the bottom as well. So there's like elastic for your wrists. Um, I really actually like the boob section but I'm hoping that it actually sits right because um wait is it supposed to be off the shoulder no it's not so that's also sort of a square neck well it's not far off one um the only thing about this dress is well I mean obviously this won't be a false Cody um but I'm hoping it's not see-through because yeah so if it is then sorry mum um but I actually really like that really really like that I mean I don't know how they're actually going to look on yet obviously apart from the one that I already have um so I'll actually probably rate them at the end because even though I'm showing you guys now I don't know what they look like yet so yeah and um I'll show you the lounge outfit at the end so they're all like together so sydney obviously sydney was gonna go out there she got me an o poly dress and let me tell you now i've never ever owned an o poly dress in my life in fact i don't think i've worn anything from o poly i i don't know like if i want something i never think o poly like i never think to shop there so sydney wants me to pair the o poly dress with some white um waffle shoes that i've got these are ego ones so she also said what did she say she's pushing me out of my comfort zone so i'm actually quite nervous for this because i don't know what she means by she's pushing me out of my comfort zone so yeah that's nerve-wracking to say the least the candle's going absolutely off on one i don't think there's enough oxygen in that corner Oh, I love how they're packaged, it's so cute. Ooh. Wow! <laughs> that colour is just wow for a start. You know what I'm, I'm glad that she knows me enough to know that I would never actually have chosen anything like this myself but it's cute and you know what she would wear it she would wear it like every single day if she could this is like this is a proper her outfit but it's meshed it's rushed all the way down sort of like that nude one is oh sorry you can't actually see on that side you can see on the back that it's like rushed together so this one's definitely going to be very bodycon this is the Mama. 
it don't give a proper description but it's a batch a turquoise size a brilliant um do you know what it's really pretty really really pretty but i just don't know how it's going to look on me it's also got some ruffle detail at the bottom of it as well and again puffy sleeves everyone knows that the puffy sleeves are in at the moment don't they but these are like puffy puffy sleeves i mean you can see how high they actually sit oh and it's got a cute little bow as well one thing that i do like about this is that it's actually zipped at the back and i feel like because all it all gathers in the back as well that's when you can tell something's going to be really bodycon so wow when she said she was testing me she meant it wow and lastly i'll show you the loungewear that cody got me before i go on to the end and tell you which one i like the best so th i mean this is also pushing the boat out a little bit by cody not gonna lie um, so it's the blue tie-dye high neck mesh bodysuit in Aliana. Aliana. So um, I actually quite like that though, not gonna lie. Long sleeve, high neck, and it looks like a thong bodysuit as well, which would actually really look nice with these white high-waisted utility pocket drawstring cuff joggers in the colour sally but they're white like i think these are, yeah these are proper white as you can tell compared to my cardigan um and i love the little utility pockets that everyone are doing lately i absolutely love them i've actually just saved some other ones that they're the exact same pair but in dark blue and i've just kept them for myself too because i was too obsessed with them um I actually quite like that you know I don't know how it's gonna look on me I feel like with that light blue dress and this I don't really know if like my skin tone suits vibrant colors so I, I don't know if when they mean they're pushing the boat out like they literally mean you're either gonna look good in this or absolutely ridiculous in this but I guess that's a risk that we're willing to take Right, I'm back from my try on spree. Um, I must say, all the girls actually quite shocked me. None of the outfits were black. Um, one of them was white, which I partly expected. And the dress, the white dress, I absolutely loved. Um, and I think that one would have won. Um, the only reason why it didn't is because it's see-through. And obviously, I know that's not Cody's fault. Um, but i'm gonna to have to return the dress because of that um so that is a shame to be honest because i did really like the white one which was surprising because when it was on it did actually fit really nice um the nude one i realized when i was trying it on that because i have the same one that is actually the outfit i was going to wear for my 20th birthday if we wasn't in a lockdown in 2020 um which is just mad to think that I was going to wear that for my birthday then. I never got the chance. And then one of my friends has picked it for my 21st, the year after. I'm actually surprised it's still on the website, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely in love with that dress. Like, to be honest, I like them all, like, surprisingly. Um, but obviously, because I was going to wear it for last year and I've already got it, I won't be keeping it again this year because i don't need to i actually feel quite bad because i thought that she would have already known that i had it so i guess what i'm trying to say is even though i really really doubted ever wearing any bright bright colors like i never ever pick any bright colors for myself that the opali dress won I think if it was a different colour, I would have liked it even more. But I think the colour shocked me because it didn't actually look bad on my skin and it actually just made me look like more tanned, um, which I'm not going to complain about at the moment. And 
the obviously because it was low poly it was really good quality and so meant it was very figure hugging and just complemented like all the collarbones and everything like that um so that really did help and to be honest i think it gave it the edge um but if it would have been another colour, I think I would have liked it even more. And it would have been a, yes, yeah, straight away, that's the one. Um, but yeah, Sydney really surprised me. And I know that she's going to be absolutely buzzing that she won this. With her no poly dress as well, because that's just something like out of her wardrobe that she would she would wear like whenever, like as soon as she's going out somewhere, she normally buys things from her poly. Um, and like I say, I never have. And you know what? I'll probably look on there again more often now. Um, because I really liked it. I'm actually shocking myself by saying that. I don't know why, but I'm not like a an expensive kind of clothing girl. Like I'd, I'd rather get everything from the high street and know that it's quite cheap and that anyone can afford it. Um, and I mean, I know her poly dresses are like, you know, Gucci. Um, but Femilux you can get a dress for literally £10 and oh Polly are uh, about 30 or 40 and above um so for, I mean obviously I know you're paying for the quality uh, but I would have loved for a Femilux dress to have won it just because I was going to wear one last year and then my they're literally my go-to brand for anything like whenever I want anything new googling Femilux but yes, that concludes today's video. I really, really hope you all enjoyed I just cut myself off. I really, really hope you all enjoyed it. Please let me know what you'd like for the next one. Um, I love that I kept it sort of a surprise for myself, even though I knew what I was doing, but I didn't know what would actually be in the video and what it would consist of. So that was actually quite exciting. Um, I hope you're all safe. I hope you have a lovely rest of lockdown and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Sorry, I'm such an idiot. I just quickly need to mention that I've recently changed my thumbnail design on the header of my YouTube um, because a company kindly gifted it to me um, on Instagram, which are called Advanced Graphic Designs. I will link them underneath in my bio, um, not in my bio, in my description if anybody's ever needing any thumbnails, any covers. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure what, what else they do, but I'm pretty sure that they do other things too. Um, I'm so so pleased um, that that they gifted me it like literally not not even telling me before they was going to do it like they literally just give me it and tag me in it and I'm so happy with it it looks so cute so if you ever need anyone to do anything for your YouTube work graphic designs um, please please hit them up because they're such lovely people as well thank you guys